What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you with yet again another perfume experience. And today going back to the house of Insar Oud. And as per the title below, I have none other than Melange or Milang, depending on how you want to pronounce it, Privé SQ. So this is a sampler, if I can get the camera to focus for you guys. So this here is the sampler. And uh, what we're gonna do is we will get to experience this today. I smelt this about maybe two, three years, two, three years ago. I don't know, at least a year ago, if not more. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic. We'll get into it shortly. Uh, but as per tradition on this channel, and because I am running on slow mode today, make sure to sit back. Well, first, grab your favorite snack, bevy, or in my case, cafe. We have beans from Burundi today. And the notes for this are cranberry, oolong tea and maraschino cherry for those of you that are interested and uh, sit back relax and enjoy the awesomeness that's about to ensue oh yeah these are good you guys you need to try these beans if you can get them if not i mean it is what it is, but we're all bound to die without trying everything in life, so. Well, that's a good way to start. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get on with the musing off of the Ansar Oud website, and then we'll go through the perfume experience, or in this case, oil experience. Okay. Oud Royale 1980 and Ward Sultani are among the most iconic aromatics. And both were brought to life by Sultan Qaboos' passionate pursuit to unearth and acquire the world's most impressive scents. As with the acquisition of Oud Royal and Ward Sultani, those who were honored to mingle in royal circles had special access to either pure Oud or pure Rose, that or third class Oud and Rose blends. Precious though Oud Royale and Ward, and Ward Sultani may be, Melange Privé SQ is a peerless and priceless combo unlike you've ever smelled. Unless, how do I describe the smell? Take Oud Royale and Ward Sultani and mix them. As simple and otherworldly as that. Everyone who has smelled either of them over the years has borne testimony to their quality and their almost unanimous superiority in the world of Oud and Rose. You know how much each of those has sold for and continues to sell for? So you know what Melange Privé SQ should sell for. The what if. Fantasy of blending these two legends together teased me countless times, and I regret not having had the chance to do so after Oud Royale sold out. But now, 16 years later, I again marvel, well, I would have structured the sentence as again, comma, I marvel. But he goes, I again marvel at the foresight of our dear Sultan. He did what I'd wanted to do before I ever knew I'd want to do it. That's how old Melange Privé SQ is, sinking grade oud distilled in that era blended with rose oil only a sultan could afford to bring to life. The two macerating in the same royal falcon for flacken, not falcon, <laughs> uh, for decades since. This weekend is your chance to own a rose oud perfume literally made for a sultan at a price that won't come again. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I'm tired today. Um, Oh yeah, give me that rocket fuel. All right, so if you guys haven't guessed it yet or 
you're not familiar with um, oud and rose compositions these are some of the basics in the oud world um, just adding rose or flowers to oud so what we're going to do is we will get started with the perfume experience and like i said the sampler is very small and i am very careful not to drop this because yours truly has big mittens doesn't look that way but and with big mittens comes a lot of clumsiness okay <laughs> okay. Wow. This, you guys. This. God, this is so elegant, you guys. Woo-wee! This is definitely very opulent and it beautifully changes and fluctuates between the oud and the rose the oud and the rose wow I might have to grab a bottle of this I don't remember it smelling this good. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, this smells like you own a castle, okay? You own a palace. Wow. Okay. It's so good, you guys. <laughs> I'm like literally salivating. All right. So I won't keep you waiting much longer. So this, the oud in here is definitely fermented. And the reason I say that is because it has that slight blue cheese note without the barnyard facet, but just that slight blue cheese note that I recognize very well from Abdesamadi Qureshi Kalkasi 150 year old aged oud. It's very subtle in here but you can definitely pick on it and it's not obnoxious by any stretch of the imagina imagination if anything it actually really enhances the perfume the other similarity between this and asq as i've just mentioned is the incense note so the incense note in here in the oud is very similar also to that Kalkasi 150 year old aged oud. Yeah, you definitely get that slight blue cheese funk. But it's not overwhelming at all. Actually, the oud is so, so nice, you guys. It smells very opulent, very regal and majestic. Wow. This is a... <laughs> wow. Now, I don't get any strong antiseptic facets there i can slightly pick on it but it's very 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 subtle in here okay by no stretch of the imagination are we getting that strong antiseptic quality of oud wow you guys now I'm gonna say that this is it with respect to the oud. So think of straight up oud that is fermented, slight blue cheese funk, um, medium to strong on the incense, depending on how much you apply. Now, with respect to the rose, the rose here, you guys, it is like just, this to me, there's facets of jammy rose in here. There is facets of young rose as it's just blooming 
early in the spring. The rose here isn't overly feminine, no powdery notes at all. It's just feminine enough without being very, you know, uh, girly kind of rose, if you wish. Wow, the rose in here is just... There's a slight gourmandish touch to it. It's almost as if, if you had... Um, you know, if you ever had mac uh, macaroons or macarons, depending on where you live and how you call it, that are done by French patisseries like Paul or La Dore or any French patisserie that does macarons where they use um, rose jams and rose oils, it smells a lot like this. And the rose here has this very sweet gourmandish touch to it again it's not overpowering it's very well balanced actually it's very balanced between being floral sweet gourmandish very very low on the creaminess but there's a creaminess to it in here and by no means at all overly uh powering as a feminine rose or as a powdery note you don't get any powder at all in here Wow, this is like, I have a few oud roses um, that are close to this, very similar, but this is a much, much more elegant and refined composition. Even though it's two or three ingredients only, I can't remember if he said using two types of roses here, the 1980 and the Ward Sultani it was, I think. But regardless, uh, this is just an uh, class of its own wow <sighs> okay yeah i mean we've got only two ingredients to work here with so i'm gonna leave that out here but you guys this is uh This coffee's so good. Okay. This is delightful, you guys. Yours truly <laughs> is gonna cop a small vial after making this video because I would like to smell like this. This smells like <laughs> I'm a member of a royal family, okay? Um, dude, oh my God, it's wafting towards me. It smells so good. Wow, okay. Uh, so, obviously, if you don't want to watch the rest of the video where we talk performance and whatnot, 100% recommend getting it, okay? Because it's that good. Uh, but let's get into the profile of this, how it performs, who would wear it, etc., etc. Okay, so first of all, performance-wise, for a perfume oil, I'm going to put this slightly under strong. Again, with this house, you're not really buying their oils or perfumes as a status symbol or for compliment fishing. You're buying it for your own enjoyment. So this is gonna be a skin scent, but I'm gonna say performance wise, it's on the higher end of a skin scent, okay? Uh, strength wise, meaning that um, while it's not gonna be beast mode or overly strong, I'm gonna just put it a notch under strong for a skin scent. So you will get good amount of projection from it and trail and silage, okay? And this for this house, I'm gonna say, based on my reviews, is a bit unique to this. This is just right now, even though I've closed the vial, it's still wafting towards me and from handling it on my fingers, close to my face or far, I'm getting that projection towards my nostrils. So you will get, let's say, slightly under strong projection trail and silage with this. In terms of seasonality, I'm gonna say that this is versatile enough to wear across all seasons. 
it's neither too warm neither neither uh, nor too cold so you can actually style in during winter summer spring and fall it would work perfectly across all of these seasons uh, and you won't have any issues with it the oud isn't overpowering the instancy note isn't overpowering the rose isn't overpowering either it's just such a perfect formulation that you can't go wrong with it in terms of time of day I'm gonna go ahead and say also this is versatile enough to wear across the day so morning afternoon or evening and again it's this scent isn't really about seasonality or time of day as much as the character slash persona that it helps you convey and emphasize okay with respect to context I'm gonna say take it anywhere where you have a formal setting so where you would dress formally so this would actually do very well as a workplace scent or if you're going out to close deals over a power lunch or if you are going to a gala or a charity event this this is that kind of a scent it is stunningly gorgeous in terms of how it smells but it's also very regal it's very uh, conveying of strength as well as authority but it also has this softness to it that comes in the form of a very elegant very sophisticated rose the rose here by no means downplays the instancy oud instead what it does is it enhances it it just gives this opulence and luxuriance touch to it so this will do very well in formal context regardless of the context and you know obviously leading into what to how to wear this you need to dress this formally you will not be doing yourself or this scent a favor wearing it casually or semi-formal slash semi-casual you need to wear it formally you need a nice suit preferably a three-piece suit a nice tie and you wear this scent on days where you want to feel like you are a sultan you want to feel like you're a vip you are an individual in particular i'm going to say this scent is aimed towards men uh, a high value man as the kids say nowadays uh, my youtube feed will not stop <laughs> pushing high value men videos towards me it annoys the hell out of me okay because a lot of it is just scammy but i digress um yeah so this is a very good scent in terms of projecting that you are an accomplished person a serious person a person that appreciates the finer things in life a person that has authority it has an air of regality to him it's just you guys I, I unless you smell this I don't think you can appreciate how good it is <laughs> it's it just smells like pure bliss and luxury and opulence it smells it smells like future me okay when i'm sitting on top of a billion dollars in my bank account wow this smells it smells i smell like money is <laughs> the best way i can explain it okay it smells so good that it makes me believe one day i'm gonna be able to grow my hair again <laughs> is never gonna happen i'm past that point now unfortunately actually fortunately luckily i'm not one of these people attached uh to his hair or has his identity revolve around his hair so that's a good thing wow this is just the tips of my finger you guys so without dragging this further than it needs to be do i recommend melange Privé sq yes 100% get your nose on it get your wallet on it cop it you will not regret this this is such a fantastic rose and oud composition and even so even though rose and oud has been done so much and has been around for so long and I've gotten my nose on it quite a bit I don't think I've smelled anything as good as this okay in just pure rose and oud so make sure to copy yourself some of this because ooh la la <laughs> I had to go French here this is 
this is so good. I'm, I'm grabbing myself a while. That's it. It's set. It's done. Um, wow, I should have pulled this out way, way back. I hope that they still do sell them. I think they do. But um, I digress. I'll wrap it up here, you guys. As per usual, very much appreciate your time and attention. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.